Hi guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how to add this animation for your character and animation for your weapon. So, let's start. We need, our, uh, we need to have our animation. Uh, then create a montage to this animation and set up our blending, blend out to smooth animation and can be play rate if it's some slowly or we have uh, or we want to make this uh, more faster and for this also we need set uh, the same with this weapon for, for this weapon so we have this animation, you can download this animation and uh, animation for uh, for SMG for, uh, from the description, so uh, how to how to set up our reloading system so we need uh, add two events for reload, for animation then uh, I'm using this system, reloading system for uh, is a bullet, so we call is a bullet, uh, is a barrel system. Then we make array and set ammo and uh, shooting block to true. Then uh, for make array, connect with you new ammo and create variable to our bullets because we have different bullets for other for for a different weapon. So then we need to make a delay for reloading time. Um, also we have this variable for all of our weapons. So for bullets also we have it. Uh, then we need uh, we need another variable count for our uh, for uh, count of our bullets, how much bullet do we have in this weapon? Uh, it can be 30, it can be 15, it can be 8 bullets, it can be 20. So sometimes we uh, we have uh, 200. So uh, then set armor, uh, connect with count uh, this variable and connect. Uh, bullets also to new ammo. Then shooting blocked uh, to false. So that's all. So then we uh, call event reload animation and connect with uh, reload. So we have multicast and label if we want to create this for multiplayer and so then we need to set up our weapon. So we call event reload animation uh, it is important we need uh, animation event for, uh, this because if we call the load animation we uh, can use this code we can use on the code in this event so uh, for solve this problem we need to create another event then we call get a count uh, less than one, uh, more than one, and uh, for more than one, we have uh, other animation because we have empty animation and we have the load, uh, also the load animation. For empty, we um, we have uh, this animation with bolt, and uh, when we have animation without bolt. We have only like this move. So, uh, also with this character, we have this animation for empty. So, uh, okay. Uh, then we need to open our uh, our child. Then we open Uzi Blueprint uh, and. Paste it, paste uh, ammo count, paste, uh, take a reloading time and bullet. Also, I have 9mm, so 
uh, we have another uh, speed, another uh, another scale of this bullet, another damage. So uh, because it is some automatic pistol. So then we have this branch and call from our skeletal mesh of this weapon get an instance then we call montage play function for uh, anime instance because it's uh, imp important we need for anime instance then uh, connect in first for true if we have more than one bullet we need connect uh, reloading but when we have less than one we have reload em empty for this montage we need uh, for our weapon because we connect with our weapon then um, in our base class we need to call cast to your own character then get a player pawn and create a variable so then we call s character blueprint then uh, create a server montage i show how to do this in other tutorials so i can show again so we can create a monta montage multi and then to play an in montage then uh, montage multi to uh, montage server so, so today it's work bad for multiplayer so I need to remake this part so uh, you know you need to wait some time uh, wait some time to see how uh, do this more uh, like ha have another code for replicate this animation so uh, this part can work great in multiplayer but this part work uh, great so then we need to uh, connect our montages so uh, we need to connect this uh, sorry this animation for upper body how to create this upper body you need to open our character blueprint anime blueprint go to anime graph so then we have upper body slot for default movement then we need to create player plan pair uh, bone connect to our spline and co uh, blend uh, death to zero but you can play with these variables to understand how it's work and um, uh, so on so then we need to uh, uh, anim state so then we save save cached post call it default movement uh, then we uh, call this default movement to upper body slot and default movement to uh, base pose and for upper body slot connect to blend pose then we have slot default slot so we need to call it slot if we need to create the slot uh, create upper body slot we need to go in here and new slot um, stop slot manager and create uh, here a new slot so then we I think we have this slot already in our starter blueprint so 
In next tutorial will I have when I create a correct replication for uh, for loading for this part, I show how to create upper body uh, more uh, co correct. Uh, I take you correct information how to do this. So uh, then we need to connect this for our pose. Uh, okay, that's all for upper body. Why uh, it's so? Because we need we have our character. We have upper body. Your, uh, your body with hands, with uh, head and then legs. Uh, when we don't use upper body slot, this, uh, this part for your, our montage, uh, character uh, standing in um, some uh, in, in place, stand in place and uh, start uh, doing this uh, animation but for our animation of our legs we need to create this slot because if we want to go we need to uh, move our legs so uh, when we have our body slot we can see this uh, part we can see that uh, character move and ha uh, have animation with our legs but uh, without this slot we have a standing pose, standing pose for our legs, but character can be moved or can be stand in place and uh, do montage. So, uh, so uh, that's all. So we can uh, we can see what happen if if we connect this part. So we can see that we have animation yeah yeah we can see this so but uh, if if you have animation of your uh, bolt or your trigger or your uh, back part okay uh, you need to have uh, your uh, open your blue any blueprint open this thing and and uh, when we do this montage we th then we can't uh, use our our uh, modifiers so how to solve this problem you need to create mesh space reference then slot default default slot for uh, this animation also to have it so after this part you have uh, all all montages all modifiers sorry uh, works great all montages works great with this modifier and we can uh, we can see that if we click here we open our stock then reload it, it works it works great so if we doing like this we have a problem So after this, oh, I uh, what's happening? Because I have this problem. Okay, but create this for your maybe after when we create this slot we we uh, solve this problem. So I have this problem 
and I saw this problem like this. I don't know why it doesn't work to show how uh, this problem. Okay, so it's great if we don't have a problem. So that's all. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you if you want to download this animation, my uh, animation for weapons, you can uh, go to the description and uh, download from Google Drive. Thank you for watching. See you.